So today we've come down to a new location that we found last night and uh, it's a derelict farmhouse and the outbuildings as well as you can see this building is one of the houses the farmhouses we're going to see another one in a, in a little bit and um, this one has had a fire somebody thought it would be a very good idea to set fire to it why well who knows and as you can see at the top floor that's where the fire is still visible and the damage to it and this floor is completely collapsed the upper floor is completely collapsed now I'm going to move around this way I think Be careful because uh, it's a bit of a mess as you can see but there's the original fireplace even got some tiles on the wall there but that is the actual second floor that's just completely collapsed I should imagine because of the fire that itself doesn't particularly look burnt I'm just going to move down a little bit some more of the uh, tiles there now we'll just say that we do have the landowner's permission to be on here um, if anybody knows where it is if you come down without the permission because you will be trespassing so uh, just bear that in mind we're lucky enough to uh, to know the landowners who kindly gave us permission you can actually see in here there's still the fire the metal grate fire half as well I think it's a little bit too dangerous to actually go in because uh, the ceiling looks like it's just about to fall in at any minute so this is one of the rooms probably probably the living room and I imagine going through into there would have been the kitchen probably I go down here you can see all out the slates off the roof there's a big hole down here which is uh, where the drainage would have gone through now let's have a little, a little nosy if we go into here I'm not going to talk very loud because I don't want the ceiling falling in on me so this is inside the house now not sure what that would have been unless it was for a, a range probably I mean, it's a very well made building um, it's just a shame that Obviously, time and uh, vandalism have uh, brought it to where it is now. You really do have to watch your head because uh, the ceiling's coming down everywhere. Now they would. That's obviously where the staircase is. What remains of it? And uh, I really wouldn't fancy walking up there. Be honest with you. 
I'm just going to move up a little bit. See if I can poke the camera through. It's obviously one of the bedrooms. And that's part of the landing. The strange part about this is though, that when you get to the top of the stairs, there's only that one room. Now it does go over there, look, as well. But, how did you get to the other half of the house? Surely you didn't have to come outside to go back to right, your living room to the, uh, to your bedroom. Still got the door on. What remains of it? And uh, your coat hooks up there. So yeah, it's a bit of a strange layout. So I'm just going to have a walk down here now. Just see it through there, the fireplace and uh, the bedroom that we looked at earlier. Very strange layout though. Can't really work that out. I don't know whether it was one and then it was converted into two before it fell into disrepair or or oh, what? I don't know. Very strange. Aliens have landed. So obviously these are the outbuildings of the farm. In the, uh, I imagine it would have just been the probably cow sheds, or maybe it was just for storing the hay and things. I'm not sure. Should we have a look down here? See what's down. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. See more buildings over there. We'll have a little closer look at them hopefully. If we can get around that way. I'm just gonna have a look, see if we can uh, get around the back. Yeah, it is, isn't it? So at some stage then would have had it extended, yeah, because if you look though, that's the original cottage. And then, like you say, it's all new brick there. Just wondering how it ended up like this in such a mess. Unbelievable, isn't it? I don't know if there's any bats that they deliver as well. Well, yeah, I know. I think this would take a bit of uh, more than a DIY SOS, wouldn't it? There's like part of the toilet there, which doesn't look in a very good condition. <laughs> Somebody's front door. Oh, there's the bath down here and what's left of a sink. And then you go through and that's that bit where the fire was. And the ceiling's collapsed. Well, the whole floor, actually. So 
so the extension it was a big extension you can see all the fire damage there look as well is that not their property but they still want I mean, to vandalize yeah it. i mean it's it's nice to come and uh, see it but why do they have to bloody smash it up and things well, you can imagine right so like probably this would have been a window i imagine yeah. imagine looking out onto that yeah. so this is obviously the new bit of it yeah i bet the quantity is up to a, a large summit yeah with that wood on yeah what's over there look in the distance and where that is You can see the difference in the original cottage with the stonework and the tiny little windows. And I noticed when I was in that old bit, the original bit, how small the ceilings would have been. And then when you move back into this bit, which was the newer bit, the extension, You can tell that it would have been built to uh, the regulations of the day. So these are parts of some more outbuildings. I don't think these would have been a house. I think these would have been more, yeah, this would have been more a working area. I imagine probably would have had cattle in. So if you look down here, the floor is concrete, like concrete sections, slats, which was probably because it was uh, working area that's what's left of uh, another outbuilding which again would have been to do with the work where they did like the milking of something or whatever. So we've now moved to locations. So that's probably uh, what's left of the cattle shed, I imagine. So the difference, a lot of the difference is there's no uh, real outbuildings as such other than that one over there whereas the other one was uh, a lot more of a working farm it's more intact than the other one that's for sure whether we can see in through that window and that's part of a staircase or what? you can see very overgrown 
The grass snake, I don't think they rattle. A rattlesnake? Oh dear, hope not. I know the weather's been hot, but I don't think it's hot enough for a rattlesnake. I reckon if we sort of, if you came back in winter time when all this had all died, you'd probably be able to see it better. If you like our videos and want to see more, please click on the subscribe button right here. For all things social media, then just click on these.